Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, uh, today, I have a few things I want to talk about. Um, I have really been contemplating how I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, proceed um, with this channel. Uh, I, I feel as though um, I need to be as informative about real things as possible. Not that crypto is not real, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not the most important subject in the world. Therefore, I, I have to add in more things like... Um, you know, I have done so in the past, but now it's going to be more, more so um, a, a more rounded uh, approach to everything that's going on. So hopefully you guys uh, can appreciate that and, and you enjoy the uploads. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I have not been uploading because I've just been in this... Uh, I don't know, kind of back and forth with myself. Because uh, for one thing, crypto, ultimately, I feel like crypto is going to be used against us anyway. So anyway, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. So starting off, it is a crypto topic. Um, and this is something that happened a few days ago. The ledger exploit drained $484,000. Un uh, I'm sorry, upended D5 former staffer linked to malicious code. So apparently uh, one of the employees at Ledger was a victim of uh, phishing. They obviously clicked on something which allowed some malicious code to be loaded onto their, their computer and then uh, ultimately made it into the code that was uh, related to, and let's see, it was related to a Ledger Connect kit. So the um, that Ledger Connect kit was uh, had some malicious code attached to it. So it caused a huge problem, and obviously, people lost their money. Um, I don't. I think the issue has been fixed. They said. Uh, uh, I think Ledger said that people should not connect to the the Ledger Connect kit for at least 24 hours. Um, so hopefully that's resolved. But. It really kind of sucks. This is not the first incident with Ledger, obviously. A few years ago, all of our information had gotten leaked. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that. So we were starting, <laughs> people were getting messages, uh, emails and whatnot with uh, threats that <laughs> if they didn't turn over their, their um, Ledger Nanos or whatever, um, whatever they had, um, that, you know, some bodily harm would come to them. You know, I, I got a couple messages not anything like that but hey i was kind of hoping somebody would come try to take it uh, i think they would f around and find out so anyway uh that was a uh, kind of a big deal number two all right so we have um the ndaa all right this is kind of a big deal well not kind of it is a big deal uh so they rushed through <laughs> this it's crazy Basically, this um, uh, law or bill or whatever, basically preventing any future president from removing the U.S. from NATO. So obviously what this means is if other countries end up going to war, we will be right there along with them. And I believe also in this bill, and I could be wrong, but I, th I think it's in this bill, uh, it, it also allows other um, third party entities outside of the country to be able to purchase federal lands in the U.S., which is not a good thing. And I personally believe there's a reason for this because of some of the unusual uh, things that happen in uh, federal lands, uh, federal uh, national well, national parks and whatnot. I'm not going to go into that on this channel. Uh, if you guys are in the know about my other channel, uh, I'll, I'm going to go over there and talk about 
why I believe that is important. Uh, so the next topic, um, you know, actually, I'm going to go to this. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, Leave the World Behind. So the, I think the other day, I don't think it was last night, the other day, my wife came home. She uh, told me about this movie. I'd never heard of it. Uh, and told me that, you know, well, she seemed really kind of excited when I, when I uh, kind of passed over it. She was like, oh, that one. So, you know, that kind of piqued my interest. I was like, why is this important? What have you heard about it? Because I hadn't heard about it. She was like, well, I heard it was pretty good. So we watched it. Now, it's really kind of ironic that every time something is about to happen or you know, if if they're trying, if the the powers that be want to push some type of agenda, they release movies like this. Okay, so here we are with them with this movie, and if you have not seen it, you really got to see it. Um, honestly, it, when it kind of came down to it, it was for me it was a bit of a letdown <laughs> because of as it related to the cause of everything that was going on. But ultimately, uh, this is predictive programming. Um, now, so some of the things that I am already uh, aware of that, you know, to expect in the world, this does follow, somewhat follow that. Um, but uh, it's, it's more hinting at it than following it, I guess. But all in all, essentially, this is the future that the so-called powers that be um, want for us. Okay? They, yeah. So I'm sure you guys already know about all this. And I know that it isn't the most lighthearted conversation, you know, conversation piece. But it is It is what it is. Um, if, if you're not... If you haven't woken up to what's happening here, then maybe you might want to look into it and kind of find out what is going on in the world. The people that um, released something on us over the last few years. And then, uh, and, and you know, when it comes to that, the, uh, I'll say the cold a lot of people believe that it didn't actually exist, but I'm going to tell you right now, there was some type of weaponized something that was released. Um, I had some unusual symptoms. A lot of people expressed the same, same symptoms. I don't believe it was what they told us, but it was something that uh, was significant, significant enough to cause some issues for a lot of people. Now, I don't believe it it was to the level that they wanted us to believe or wanted us to think. Um, I think they had to kind of doctor some of that information up, but all in all, it was a uh, catalyst to do what they did next. And still to this day, a couple years later, people are falling victim to that particular scenario. Won't go into it, but I'm sure you guys can pick up what I'm putting down. All right. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about as far as crypto goes before I move on. Um, so what I'm seeing here is it, it almost seems like a distraction. Here we are about to go into a bull run. Now, I, I don't, you know, I, I a lot of times I'm kind of caught in between here, kind of wondering if the extremes that we are being led to believe are actually what's about to happen now. After 2020, I'm willing to believe just about anything um, because of the extent to which that uh, whole situation went uh, global, you know. Um, could something as big or bigger happen? Absolutely. Um, could we be being distracted at this point? Absolutely. Um, we are, I don't know, we, we, I think we're in a very delicate time, uh, a time in which 
we could see a, a significant change in how we live life on this planet. So, I don't know. Um, I'm still keeping my hopes up for the, you know, things to be fairly mild or, uh, you know, not a huge deal. And uh, hopefully we see a, <laughs> see a bull run that will bring us all the things that we have waited for. Um, especially after the last one, we got snubbed, especially those of us who were you know, holding XRP as our sig most significant uh, token. Uh, so I don't know. Keep your eyes open. So a bill was introduced also recently. I think it's already been voted on by the Senate. Um, and now the House, I believe, still has the vote on it. But if that happens, we're going to have a situation where a lot of uh, exchanges are going to have more problems servicing Americans and you know I'm sure after all the things that have been going on uh, you know as it relates to us we can kind of see the the pattern of this blueprint which is essentially um, how can I say it it's essentially cutting off many avenues for us to uh, make any profit make any you know have a have a um, good things come to us financially so okay let's go ahead and move on now this particular topic right here okay I'm sure you guys remember this whole situation and uh, this is another topic I'm probably going to go into more uh, depth on my other channel but I'll kind of skim over it right now now as you can see we have Mark Z building an underground bunker in Hawaii and I'm sure you guys know where this is it was the same place that the uh, kind of anomalous um, fires happened um, so you have to ask yourself with Hawaii being such a beautiful place right why would someone want to build an underground bunker in such a beautiful area. Why are so many uh, extremely wealthy people going there? Why have they taken the lands of native peoples there? Why are they doing the things that they're doing? Um, could it possibly have something to do with this I don't know I don't know um, again I I will go into into this a little bit more on my other well actually definitely more on my other channel um, I think <laughs> I think maybe uh, what I'll do because because the problem is is YouTube you, you know what's up with YouTube so what I'm going to do, I, th I have a Rumble channel, channel, and on there, I'll probably go a lot deeper. Kind of show you guys what I believe uh, is going on and <clears throat> what possibly there is to um, expect. Um, yeah, guys, hopefully this was entertaining and uh, informative. Um, those of you who do get a chance to watch this video I really appreciate you keeping an eye out for my um, posts um, and I appreciate all of you guys who are encouraging me to continue um, I, I will be uh, doing doing more now I actually I went on vacation I came back um, after that after that vacation I saw some really strange things <laughs> where we went or on the way because it was a road trip and uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of put me in a, a weird spot. So, um, which, which then ultimately caused me to kind of wonder how I wanted to proceed, uh, proceed with this channel. But either way, um, I'll get into that another time. Again, thank you guys. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. 
the like button and the post notification button so you know when I post it again. Um, more information to come soon. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourself and God bless. Oh.